are on the world famous Angeles Crescent. What better than having a modified 911 turbo to get to do a one mile drive on. But let's talk about the car itself. As you can tell, it's certainly not stock. It's got a GT2 front bumper. I noticed it has some really sticky Nanking tires on it. It's got GT3 wheels. It also has 997 GT3 front brake combination and 996 GT3 brake combination. By the look of the stance, you know it's definitely not stock. That's actually riding on Bilstein PSS 10s. Looking and peeking into the interior, check out the GT3 seats, a BBI roll bar, color match. In fact, the color of this car is probably not something that you might know. This is actually Baritz white. A little bit different from Carrara white, a little bit different from Grand Prix white. If you had them side by side, this color is actually a little bit more warm or more yellow than your average white. We have this aggressive aftermarket spoiler and underneath of it is where you hide a lot of the goodies of this car. This car has modified turbos, I believe throttle bodies, intakes, you name it. This car as stock would have produced about 420 horsepower. This one on regular octane, you're seeing about 500 plus horsepower. And if you go to the good stuff, the race gas, you're pushing close to 6 100 horsepower. It still retains its all-wheel drive platform. It is a manual. I'm super excited about that. I can tell it has an aftermarket exhaust. Very cool. So let's go for a drive. Be sure to log into your YouTube account, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Best of all, it's free to do so. Woo, definitely has some go. Now I hear a lot of, I don't know if it's a transmission or if it's a drive system, it's definitely a lot more analog than my car. Steering's on point. Watching for bicyclists. The sticky tires definitely grip. This is a nice road, so I don't feel the bumpiness, but it definitely sticks and handles really well. Lots of power. Now the 997 GT3 brakes don't bite as hard as I thought they would. Maybe they have track pads and they need to warm up a bit. They're not as aggressive, say, as like a ceramic. So that's taking some getting used to. Man, what a fun ride. The steering is laser tight. Now the owner of this car tracks the car quite a bit, so it's probably set up for his liking. And he's done a quite, quite a great job. Oh, it really does throw you into the seats. Can't think of a better road to drive this car, test it. Oh my goodness, look at the power. It really sticks. Man, this is a great Canyon Carver. Amazing car. The exhaust sounds phenomenal. Even though it's a coupe, I hear it very clearly what's going on back there. Man, it's like point and shoot. Tons of power, tons of grip. The shocks are very well damped. I'm not being, I don't, I don't feel like I'm being bounced around. Whoa, that is my car with added Mountain Dew and Red Bull and all that stuff. Whoa, that is a lot of power, a lot of grip. Man, that was quite enjoyable. For a car show, this is a track car. It wears all of its tiger, tire boogers and little marks and stuff. Uh, you know, the owner wears it proudly. So it's gonna, it's not gonna be able to go to the front row with all of the supercars and the show cars, but it has a fantastic stance. It's a beautiful color uh, with the wings and, and the wheels. You know, it's, it's still a car that's gonna be towards the front. So for the, the car show rating, I'm gonna give it, let's say a seven and a half. As far as the daily driver, what I love most about 996s, and in this case, a 996 911 Turbo, is they are so incredibly reasonable to drive as a daily driver. They have all the sporting intent, but they have also has all the creature comforts. Maybe climbing in and out of these GT3 seats might be a chore every day. Um, it's low ride height might be, you know, somewhat uh, difficult for, you, you know, if you have rough roads or all weather kind of season. Um, in, a, in a regular ride height car or, you know, with the all wheel drive, it actually could do very well in, in poor weather. But for this rating, the rating for this specific car, as far as daily driver, I would say it's about a six. It probably consumes a great amount of fuel for all the 
aggressive power that it has and you know it's it's lowered and the seat so yeah i would say it's about a six all right as far as a long trip you know if you're if you're an adventurous type i would say this might be fun on a long trip because if it's you know on the highway you again you've got plenty of room you might be able to sneak stuff back there but you still got the front plenty of room here hvac radio you got everything you need for a road trip i would say this one would probably be about a seven and a half for a road trip fun fact Factor, this is where this car excels man hopefully it translates for the camera and and while you're watching but this car has so much go and so much grip and the steering was you know i just kind of thought about turning right and it moved and i thought about turning left and it moved this is an ideal fun driver especially on a canyon road like this at angeles crest i'm feeling good about this unstock 911 turbo so the fun factor I'm going to give it an eight and a half. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this review. Do you agree with me or not? Comment below, check us out, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.